Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to set up the Unisat wallet, how to fund that wallet with Bitcoin, and then how to start minting and trading BRC20 tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain. So if you want to find out how to do that, be sure to stick with me until the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. So BRC20 tokens are the talk of the town. As you can see, the total market cap of all the BRC20 tokens is just underneath $500 million. And if you are brand new and you have no idea what a BRC20 token is, it is essentially the equivalent of an ERC20 token. If you didn't already know, Ethereum is a smart contract blockchain and tokens can be deployed on the Ethereum network and these tokens are called ERC20 tokens. Any token built on Ethereum, that's not an NFT, is an ERC-20. Now Bitcoin has BRC-20 tokens, and these BRC-20 tokens were actually just launched in March of 2023. So these are brand new, and I'll be showing you exactly how to get started trading these BRC-20 tokens in this video. There are a lot to choose from, so I'll also be letting you know the main ones that I am looking at, as well as the new ones that I am waiting for and possible airdrops I'll be mentioning at the end of the video. So be sure to stick with me until the very end. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire, be sure to smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Now talking about the growth of the Bitcoin blockchain when it comes to these BRC20 tokens, it has been through the roof. You can take a look at some of these graphs like the BRC20 transactions. These were pretty much dead in March when they first released. And now you can see they are exploding to hundreds of thousands of transactions per day all right so you're still early which is good news these are still in an experimental phase so you're not too late to the party and there's still a lot of money to be made with these brc20 tokens so let's get into the tutorial the first thing that you're going to need is a wallet for these brc20 tokens the most popular one right now is unisat so i would recommend you go to unisat.io i will leave the link down in the description below so that is very easy to follow. Once you're at unisat.io, you're gonna to wanna to get the Chrome extension wallet. So head on over to the Chrome web store and you can add it to your Brave browser right here. I have already went ahead and done that. As you see, I have my unisat wallet already set up. Now after you add it to the Brave browser, you will have to make a brand new wallet. So that means you will need to create a password and then you're gonna get a 12 word seed phrase that will pop up on your screen. Be sure to write that down in a piece of paper. I would not recommend keeping it anywhere on the internet. Do not email it to yourself, don't take a screenshot. Keep that off the web, all right? Put that the old school way in storage because if somebody gets access to those 12 words, they have access to your entire wallet. So I'm just explaining this for all the people that are brand new. I know most people in crypto already understand this, but you cannot take your security seriously enough because that's how mistakes happen and you lose all your money when you get nonchalant with your security. All right, so you got your wallet set up, you made your password, you wrote down your seed phrase somewhere safe. Now it's time to actually go ahead and fund your wallet. Now they will offer you some different options when it comes to your address, all right? I am on the native SegWit, pick native SegWit and just stick with that. And then this is your address right here. You can just go ahead and copy this to your clipboard. Bang, bang, there you go. All right, if you wanna know how to fund this wallet, you can buy Bitcoin on a centralized exchange. I like BitGet, all right? You can sign up to BitGet using my link down in the description below. But even just the most popular ones like Coinbase or Crypto.com, it does not matter. Just get some Bitcoin, send it to your Unisat wallet address, and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, now that you have your wallet created and you have it funded, it is time to check out the marketplace. Now, when this market was first created, up until about a few days ago, you had to acquire 20 Unisat points to actually interact with the marketplace but we can check out the Unisat Twitter account and on May 10th, five days ago, they said, we are pleased to announce that the access requirement for Unisat Marketplace has been lifted. Unisat points are no longer needed. We would like to express our gratitude for your invaluable assistance in resolving various issues during this period. Thank you for your continued support. Now, very interesting, pay attention right now. This guy said, a better marketing tactic would be re to reward those loyal customers that have been supporting your company with those 20 Unisat minting points 
and they responded, yes, Uniset points will continue to serve our users in different ways, but it's no longer used for the access requirement. Now there is a ton of speculation that the Unisat marketplace and overall company is going to be airdropping the USAT token and the way to get that is actually going to be by getting these Unisat points. This is all speculation, not financial advice, it's not confirmed. But there may still be a point to collect these Unisat points. So, so I'll show you really quick how to get one how to get points. So what you want to do is head on over to the BRC20 section of the website at the top. Now we go to in progress. All right, once we're in in progress, what we want to go ahead and do is we can pick any of these. We should probably pick one that has a decent amount of holders and a few transactions as well, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So I'll pick this symbol right here. What is this, an I? I'll pick it, whatever. The max limit per mint is three. And the supply is 333 total. That's quite low. I'm just going to mint one just to show you. So we'll hit next. And then we'll go ahead and hit next here as well. Now we want to pick our fee for the network. So we'll hit high because I don't feel like waiting. But in order to see the fee, go to mempool.space. And you can see the high priority is 47 currently. This is like Ethereum gas, but it's on Bitcoin. All right, mempool.space. I will leave the link down in the description below. So we'll go to 48 and that's $3.27 at the current price. We'll pay with Unisat and we will sign and send. And there you go. All right, we'll wait for this to go ahead and confirm. This box is gonna turn green. If you do like normal priority or economy, this will take like 20 minutes. So I would recommend just do as high as you possibly can. There you go, it's confirmed and we'll check our points we'll refresh the page and there you go that's how you get a point all right and you used to be able to mint like the max limit was three here you used to be able to mint three and get three points but you get one point no matter how much you mint is what i'm seeing now after this this recent update anyways so again you don't need the points anymore to interact with the marketplace it used to be like that but no longer the case so now we can go to the marketplace. Now when it comes to the marketplace, you can go ahead and you can search, you know, if you want to look for a specific asset that you want to buy, right? Let's say if you wanted to buy Ordi, go to the marketplace, you can search, or Ordi's number one already. Let's, let's see, if we wanted to buy Pepe or Meme, we can search Meme. And Meme is gonna pop up right here. Now these are all the people selling Meme. Right now, one meme costs $98 all right, for one token. And the supply is basically 100K, 99999. So this person is selling two of them. So if we wanted to, we can go ahead and buy two meme at $106 a piece, etc., etc., etc. Just make sure you have enough Bitcoin in your wallet that is not inscribed to actually go ahead and buy this stuff. So this is the marketplace right now, but good news. There's a new one coming to town, and it looks like a traditional decentralized exchange that we would be more familiar with, and it's called Alex. They're building the fastest BRC20 DEX, and I believe trading is going to go live on this DEX in two days or so, so I'm going to make a tutorial when it does go live, and I believe that there is a confirmed airdrop as well for this DEX, so definitely something to pay attention to. This is what the user interface looks like, All right, the swap section. You will need a Stacks wallet to do this. Right, Hyro Wallet is what I would recommend if you want to go and set that up. If you want to find out how to get it, literally just go to the Stacks website, go to the wallets. Hyro Wallet is the first one they list. So you would just go to STX on CoinGecko, hit stacks.co, that's their website. From here, you go to the top, explore, find a wallet, Hyro Wallet. All right, that's the one you're going to need for the Alex Dex. Get it set up now if that, so that you don't have to get it set up for my tutorial in a few days. But this one here, this is going to be the standard or the go to BRC20 decentralized exchange. The rumor to be doing an airdrop. I believe it's actually already confirmed they're doing an airdrop. But anyways, this was a quick crash course on how to get started trading BRC20 tokens. I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.